Voting. Okay. I'll tell you how I came. Prince of a town called Bel Air. Okay, let's do it. Alright. <gasps> Starved for help. Super can of coke. May six pack of coke today. Love and life. Leave them out in my car for a bit. Get nice and cold. Gets colder if I leave them outside in my car than in the fridge. Another thing I've tried is putting the six pack of coke outside my window on the windowsill so it gets cold. Can't be drinking warm coke. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself. Oh, through fuck. This. Yeah, I want my parents yeah, to come home you. now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Now I remember that old guy punched me in the face as I was being chased by the Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Kinda guessed that already. I love how it's like a split decision. It's not like, are you sure you would like to save this person instead of this person? It's just like, boom! The other guy's dead! Now everybody hates you again! Three months. Who's this geezer? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Levy knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack I don't of food know, and Kenny really fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense don't back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <sighs> he's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. 
And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Didn't he punch you in the face one time? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! We need to shoot someone that way. No. Strolling through the woods with my axe and my sniper. Jesus Christ. Oh Fuck shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh. This trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. I think the best thing we can do is pick him up. Shit. Uh, Walkers! It's now or never leave. Please! Get me out of get this! Get your shit together, Mom, Get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! We're gonna have to chop his leg off. Damn, this is bad. Oh god! god. Please Just save him. him out, please! Please, Please do something! Oh, We're gonna God. be surrounded any minute! Please! Get me out of here! Oh, God! Try to get the chain! Get no, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything! Please! Let's go! Yeah, Let's fuck go. it. Let's just jump the light off. There's no way! Ah, it has to be now! He's chopping the wrong leg! Cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry. Bop. Ah. Oh god! Shit. Is he... He passed out. How the fuck did he step in a bear trap that big? Gee. If he's alive, grab him and let's go! Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, just run. Come on. Unlucky, Travis. No!
Come out, come out, wherever you are. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a she week's worth left. For his food. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Grumpy cunt. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. That's not a lot of food. Now I'm in charge, bitch! Let's see how this goes. Let's say we interrogate the dude. Find out if he's got any food. Wait, he was chilling. <sighs> Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but please, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Hi. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. I was Can wondering you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank You're you. in a tiny, okay, tiny, so tiny motorhome with no, go back to with, Duck for a while. with nothing there, okay. and you manage to lose your hat, 
and you haven't found it for three days. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Are you I'm not giving here? this guy any food yet. Well, I... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No! No. We were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Okay. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Hmm. Thanks, whatever Tommy. happens, you're gonna do the wrong thing, Warlock. <laughs> Fuck it. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Fuck it. Let's go talk to this guy. Dun -dun. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. You stolen son of a bitch, Kenny. Alright, let's go talk to old dude. Where the fuck you at? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Well, that guy's a gun. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. <sighs> Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. 
completely overrun. Here, eat something. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? <laughs> is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! What a dumbass. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Alright, what's the plan? Let's go talk to this guy. Mr. Drug Dealer. I need space, Lee. Oakley Doakley. Um. Well, I got no idea. Well. I'm just gonna talk to this dude. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. It was that or the walkers. Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Let's hope things turn for the better. If I go See, give out all the food. Now there's a statement I can get behind. Hmm. Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Yep. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. So, 
Me and my family don't matter to you anymore? It's not like that. Don't make me regret asking you to come along on the RV. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Hmm. Look at either of you stubborn Can cunts. Can we? Food. Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Fuck, what the f Okay, first death experience. What am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna die again. There's arrows on the side of the screen. Shit! But... Gotcha. Okay. I'm confused. Maybe. I'm supposed to go up or down. Shit, gotcha. Hmm, let's try it. I'm stuck on a bit here. Ah, no, I'm not. The dead scrub. Get this cunt in the face. There we go. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. Yeah, I'm just I a bit know. where the kid all tells them that, that they're all infected. people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Carly... Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. 
How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, yeah, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. All right. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get ben you ten. all out to the dairy. Like I said, we <clears> have <throat> plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Bandits. bandits. Fuck you. Fuck you knew Ask we were hungry. You. you guys were keeping it all There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you lot know what? more. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Shit, son. Do, 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 do. Everybody's Here going to the dairy Saint John farm. Family Day. Gonna get some crackers and cheese. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. 
I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Hi, Beth. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come here? Well, I'll plan to walk in dead, mate. <coughs> Why don't I head back with Recording the food and round uh, up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead oh. and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Yes, because you haven't played with me. Ready. You Mate, I've got, I've got a 68% win ratio food. with Demon. Highest win ratio out of all my friends. Fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? No, it's because if you do one thing wrong, you shout your fucking head off. They're offering us food. Yeah, I we know. We should man. do whatever we can to make these people Good. like you us. Be like with the way coach. Brenda was talking, I get the feeling that like she'd be happy to have no. us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck <laughs> this up. If Andy needs no, some uh, help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. That's that's a good that's a good induction, man. Good team talk. Yeah. Huh? Pretty good. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. Bam, 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 bam. Let's check out this generator. Hi. Hi. I'm Hi, man, glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the most the streams getting tons of folks are pretty as well. well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Yeah, well, it's surprising, well, really. It'll it's never come to that, Thanks. I've actually, like, managed to take out, like, Sake and TLO, like, some pro-Germans and things. We can't be the first people you've invited. Like, it's still yeah. Dignitas well, and no, we it's made Bling some and Johnny V come in the finals, I think. Trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know.
we're doing Do enough to get even live? to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Looks like he's stuck. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Let's just push the cunt off the fence. Looks Fuck. like he's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to get him off there. Let's, let's pull the fucking arrow out. Disgusting. Let's try this. There we go. Boom. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the so, war? I'm gonna go into another channel while I do this. I'll probably be in for the next game, okay? Walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. She's kind of bent the fence over. Let go, Man, bitch. The fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. <laughs> nice. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I still like smoke coming out of it. <laughs> Pop. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Probably poke him to see if he's still like alive first. I don't know. Holy fuck! What just happened? Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! 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 Shit. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Bandits. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Ah! Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Where's our food, you asshole? Give us the food! Now there you are, boy! 
Come on, push the tractor. This fence and back to the house. Ah! Sick of the house. I already got money in. Ah! Fuck you, son of bitches up! What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Push two down. One of them had no hands. Yeah, I thought so. I can't believe you turned the fence on us. What a motherfucker. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you gonna I be okay? Just pull it He's out. got a bit oh, of an arrow in my back Come here. Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate you some of the food it. on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Alright, alright. Let's go. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Really? Uh, I really don't see this, like, being safe. Because there's loads of kids and electric fences. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's do it. Yeah. We gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Let's go fuck up some bandits. Banditos. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Not exactly a very safe camp in the middle of a woods where all the zombies are. Fuck it. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. He's gonna die. Guaranteed. Bunch of in there. Shit, Lee. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Just water. Nothing. Empty. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. 
Cause they fucking stole it all. <laughs> What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. The fuck is that? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Shut up, bitch. Hmm. Nothing but fuels. Shit. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Yeah, we should probably get the fuck out. Yuck. I don't need that. We should get going. Um, what have I missed then? Because it's fuck all left. So what can you? Your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a hmm. deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They the told me I'd be safe cross with them. I want that Men crossbow. who lived here. But it weren't safe. Fucking down. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last Crazy time. Crazy mother. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. The fuck I did. That's them other people. These good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met him. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String him up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I needed to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on, tell him, boy. 
Tell him what you got in mind for us! Yeah, fair play. She was kind of asking for it. God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Dev's on the crossbow. Oh yeah! Come on. Goodbye, Jolene. We miss you. Oh shit. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Let's go see Mary. Did we get that? Yes, we did. That's what I was thinking. Alright, let's get a little bomb. Dun, 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 dun. It's about to thunder, I think. Pro engine generator. Um. Okay. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought. Thanks. Yep. 
Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. May as well check them all. See where they hide in the crack. Empty. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something. Behind this door, I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, the guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. Would you have Here, in mind? Kenny. Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Where the weed at? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah, let's fuck around with that. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. I'm gonna just punch him, I think. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Probably should have asked him for a screen hour. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Fuck's sake. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Alrighty then. I'm 
haven't found anything in any of those so far, so... Let's try this one. Ooh. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Right. Need to think of something, Kenny. Kenny Powers! I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Yeah, let's go prod the generators. That's a great idea. Bop, 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 bop. Get your eyes on me, boy. Alright, let's go. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. We're clueless about this stuff. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just gonna poke it again and see if that works. is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Let's poke it again. Let's see how pissed he gets. Ha ha ha. gonna do Andy again one more time let's go check out this toolbox fuck I die uh, multi tool that should be handy just gonna borrow this for a second. Alright, to the barn. I've worked it out now. There's a baby in there. Careful, don't spook her. Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. 
I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. How the fuck do I just give him the molly tool? Uh, this is dumb as shit. Hey there, Andy. Yep. Oh, no, I didn't mean X. I mean X. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, I didn't even say anything. Let's go fuck with this janitor here again. You didn't see anything. Alright. Gotta work this time. Don't mind me. Let's try it again. In a minute, I'm just gonna hit the fucking thing with an axe. See if you can fix it. Okay, that's not working. Um so these guys are too. We'll uh We'll finish talking later. <laughs> you been getting along with Larry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Um. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. <laughs> Alright. On Lee, did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee, the longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go.
What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Yeah, Lee. You dumbass. Okay. Okay. Walking over to the barn. So we've tried the generator a couple of times. And... See what Kenny has to say. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. Come on, Kenny. Give me a clue. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Alrighty then. Come the fuck hey on. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. He doesn't even have anything left to say. Okay. Uh. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna fiddle with this pile of hay. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Really? Okay. Uh. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. No, 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 no. Use the gate. No. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. I cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. You really like that gun. What's not to like? It's just a gun. 
And that's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Okay, I haven't decided yet. What's it gonna be? They're storing gasoline all over the property. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Alright, let's try this outlet thing. Um. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. <laughs> I just don't understand, like, at the moment. Part Somewhere part where part I part haven't part been. What's missing. on your mind, Lee? When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. There's nothing up there. Okay. There's nothing down this way. I don't think. Nope. Oh shit! Old Mark is okay in there. I'll well, bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Lots of hay. Ugh. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. <laughs> she looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. You guys having fun? Uh-huh. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Okay. Let's fucking do this. I'm stuck on this bit now.
tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. One more try. And then I'll go ask the master what we can get. But seriously. To be fair, I don't play a lot of puzzle games, so. I'm not. I don't know, I think if you already do something once, then maybe they can make it so that the option doesn't come up to do it again, but then that would take away the sort of difficult part of it, I guess. Alright, push power <laughs> Now we can see what we can do here. Power switch. Uh, oh my god. Praise the Lord. We have found it. There you go. The struggle is over. Let's fuck shit up. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Threw a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Fuck it. Now we're going back in here. The last try, and he gets it. Don't mind me. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Oh, yeah, just let me do it, don't worry. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, dinner let's get time. that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Yeah, Kenny. Get that thing off. <laughs> Kenny Powers. Alright, let's do this. Mm, screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Oh my god. Mm, screws holding it to the what door. Hang on. If I I'll be right back. Alright. Back to the Walking Dead. I can remove them. I don't even need to deal with the lock. you got in that back room look we have food here but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed when we catch something in the woods we skin it and dress it back there mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house so you see nothing to worry about <laughs> oh, Brenda, Biscuits? you wow. are an angel. 
Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all. Fuck it, let's go see where Mark is. Mark? Fuck it. He keeps covering for him. that cord going? What the hell? Said he was up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Getting late. No sign of bandits, though. Shit. Cannibals. Don't eat that! What? Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off! You're eating him! That's what crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that! We need to get the kids and everyone out of here! We need to go now! Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. 
Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad, this goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walker! Dad, please! Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and make you swallow them! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No. No such luck. Come on! Try yourself! Fucking cowards! Dad! Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. There's more of us on the way! Let us out now! If you the gems are pretty live, sturdy. Not we can climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door! You, you think what a fucking apocalypse gives you the right to chop we Get through the air vents! Hmm. Never done that I'll, one before. I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, <laughs> easy! <laughs> Breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! The morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on! Yeah, Lee! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking Four. worthless, Lee. No! Wow. Kenny, what the fuck? I'm 
so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. Well, Kenny's an asshole. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. He was still lively. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor end, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Do, 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 do what I have to do. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps us change in? Huh. He still carried his wallet. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Two quarters, and a dime. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Hmm, fuck you, Kenny. Well, there's our way out, me. It looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. You think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. 
Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. That could work too. Shit's about to get dropped. Oh, we got a few weapons there. Your people. Sick bastards. All of them. Alright. Let's go, Kenny Powers. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Kenny's gonna get a shot. Hey, uh, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit. Just going in the place like you huh. said. You know, keep sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Get one to keep and kill the rest. And I don't know which one to do. I can kill. I don't know if on the trail. Oh, I know, Marvel. This is Wait, my favorite focus. part, too. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just He's walk inside. right out. He's not coming any closer. I never even look down. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act what I say. See what he's doing now. Hey, tell me something. I didn't grab the gun fast enough. And I died. Well. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on. Fucking eat this gun. Here, yeah, bitch! Come on, Kenny, where the fuck are you? 
Come on, Kenny, you little bitch! Oh yeah! You got knocked the fuck out! Ugh. Kenny, you a bitch! Yeah, I think we should kill him. Yeah. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like you didn't kill Jolene! You don't have- okay. No! Fuck it. I have to kill motherfuckers. God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Yeah, I think we should just take off. He gonna come back though. Too very he's gonna bed. Just creeping. Kitty! Too long. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit! How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. Uh, the, the main gate is too Kenny dangerous. Is. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Alright. What do we do with Lily? Put the left around the bar. I have a feeling. Oh, uh, that I'm gonna take the boy and kick around. No, please don't take my boy! Let's go, woman. Down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? That yeah, is me. Oh, God. Come in. Let me go. Please get back. Don't come in here. You can't stand to go over the round. Then you got to go, Brenda. Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Oh, Come on, stop right there, I mean it. Well, no, I told you to stop, I told you. Fourth death. You know you don't 
don't want to do this. Just go away. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go.
Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! <laughs> Let's go. They need is that walking dead thing too. Guess you piped up. Oh yeah. Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended. But, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Can I get shot? <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You know, hero, you destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? <laughs> you really fucked this up, Kenny Prowers. Come on. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. It's an ice cream van. Holy shit. Left your lights on. How many people have we got in the group now? Hello? Come on out with your hands up. Figures. Oh crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. 
what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Fuck it. Guerrilla warfare. We I have to take, take this grunt. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. Yeah, buddy. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Okay. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll pick it. More food in here. Eat it. Got a box Dick. of food here. I'll carry it. Fucking pals. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him. Give me the okay? loot. Give me the loot. Okay. Bugs in the suitcase. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not going to let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're going to want to see this. Oh, shit. I want to see, I want to see. <sighs> Here we go. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rich. Oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find thinking it, I'll you're safe. You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them. You'll be safe. I promise. Holy shit. Next time on AMC, Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damn word I say. Fuck is you, Is this Kenny. all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases yet. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing I'm so good, huh? Yours. You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. <laughs> Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Uh, decisions. 84% of players chopped this leg off. 
87 of players shot Jolene. Didn't help. And didn't kill the brothers. Nah, there's a reason. GG well played episode 2.